Hello and welcome to this new episode of the podcast. I'm today here with Susie, a former ballet dancer and now raisin artist who is gonna tell me about her and answer some questions about her work and her life. Um, I'm Verena and this is the Voices and Visions podcast. Let's go, let's get into it. So thank you for coming here. Thank you for having How me. How are you today? <laughs> Good, thank you. Okay. So my first question to break the ice is what was your last holiday and where were you? My last holiday was in Corfu. Yeah, in July, beginning of July. Yeah. And this was amazing experience, like the ocean and the country. Somehow I feel a really good and close connection to Greece and to the people there. Very nice. Yeah. I mean, they also have sea. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, you can and see with your art. Super turquoise, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, thank you for sharing. So could you tell me a bit about yourself? How did you become an artist? Um, actually, I, with ballet dancing, I started with four in kindergarten. And actually, everything was super easy for me. I was really lucky, I have to say, with all my teachers leading me through the the school, the the kindergarten, then to school, then to the company, my first company in Europe, and then to Budapest, to and then I come here to Vienna. So and I was working with the Vienna Wiener State Ballet with uh, for for um, for twelve years. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. This was a really nice experience, and that's nice. why. Um, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> cool. So you have been in Vienna with the Vienna State Ballet Park, for yeah. 12 years now. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. What what make what made you come here to Vienna? Uh, I don't know if I should say actually, but actually <laughs> I was really lucky as one person was missing at that point, and I, and the, one of my former director was here also, and and he called me that there's an empty position, and I could come for audition, and they took me. <laughs> Nice. So I was okay. really lucky. Yeah. And I mean, normally it's harder to get in a company and yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I have okay. to say I was okay. really lucky. Okay. And so then you came to Vienna and you yeah. started the life here. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so when you started dancing, when you were four, yeah. what, what made you dance? Or? Oh, I was actually, it's funny because um, actually I don't think I would be dancing. That was the only um, kindergarten in the, it was the closest kindergarten to us mm -hmm. where, where we were going and there was an extra class or like a group for for ballet and my mom said yeah sure and <laughs> yeah they saw my talent if I can say and yeah it nice. was the ch just a natural thing to do for me nice okay and so now you turn artist what how what happened what can you take us through the process of you being a ballet dancer to now being an artist yeah, I stopped and I had the feeling that I still have a lot in myself as an artist, but in a different way. And somehow by accident, I ran into this resin art um, through Instagram. I never ever knew that something like this existed and, uh, before. And I was just amazed. But I mean, I have such a strong connection to the ocean and beach and I love it. And I knew it immediately, like I want to learn it and I want to do something with this type of art. And that's how I learned. I mean, it was a long process to learn, but yeah. Mm -hmm. When did you start learning? Um, I think a year ago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And where did you go or where, where, where was the first thing you, you went or what was the first thing you did to start the learning process? Um, a lot of YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah, really, YouTube videos. Yeah, oh, because, wow. I mean, there is some workshops, but I don't think they are so good. Plus, I have the feeling that many resin artists are like, uh, let's say, like um, information greediness or how it, mm -hmm. I don't know how to say it, like they really don't want to open it up how it's made like they're really secretive about it okay i don't know okay. why it's okay. silly I, I found it silly because why you should not share details so if anybody comes to me if they see it and want to know i i share mm -hmm. and yeah that's how i learned like i think i was watching only videos like 
for months like and oh. then i started because i was just scared to to start it somehow it's stupid and and yeah it takes time to to really learn how to how to go on with the resume because it's really heavy to control it for mm -hmm. example yeah okay okay so, so you started watching the youtube videos and then that you got yourself some materials yeah and then Yeah. You waited a bit, <laughs> and yeah. then you started then trying I started, it. Yeah. Okay, When okay. I had the, the guts to do it, then I will, okay, I will okay. make it. <laughs> Does it take a lot of guts to do it? Is it? No, it's just for me. I mean, okay. uh, because I'm so used to being in this my own bubble, mm -hmm. and and to do something new, it's always a mm -hmm. a huge step for me. And mm -hmm. and as a perfectionist for me of course everything has to be perfect at the first try of course it's oh, yeah. not I feel it doesn't work much. like this yeah, yeah. but yeah okay very nice yeah. so how would you describe your art is there like a motive or a theme or anything that <clears throat> that kind of continues through all of it mm, actually i start to go in a many different way to express myself and like feelings through this art because now I started like also doing like emotion wise like for example like if there's a picture what I did recently with two persons on it like one female and male and to um, put it like the feminine and max, max, um, masculine energy and how much difference it's between them like one is a darker one is like a super pinky um flowerish or like super um positive and the men sometimes are like always in the head and like pulling themselves back in the head and not expressing things and and yeah but beside that um mostly i'm doing like beaches like beautiful like from Mallorca or I see a picture from Fuerteventura or somewhere then I get inspiration yeah this I like or the black beach from Bali or yeah I like I see many pictures and I said like, yeah this I want to do for example okay. so you get inspired by by pictures of yeah. real beaches beaches yeah nice and then you have it in front of you and then you, you start no actually it's always it, in my or? head and anyway it turns out sometimes completely different like it's hard to control even if you mix green with with um With blue, it will turn out completely different. Maybe it will be more um, blackish, or like mm -hmm. it's, it's I mean, not blackish, but, but but darker than I expected, or I want like a, not the Maldive um, mm -hmm. light turquoise color. So yeah, it's it's a it's a process to learn yeah. with all the colors and, yeah. and what, what do you do when something doesn't turn out as expected? Um, sometimes I recreate it, like. I just cover it up with another um, mm -hmm. try, let's say. Or I see, of course, I see the mistakes and I learn and keep it and go on with it and try to solve it. But you always learn from mistakes. Mm -hmm. I think that's the most important that you learn. And yeah, go it's, on. it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> So you said that there's a lot of um, of your emotions, like part of your emotions also incorporated into the art. Yeah, like I like to have this really calm, soothing feeling like um, just being on the ocean and to give this back to the people. For example, my sister is a masseuse and she has some pictures um, on her wall. And she said, it's so nice to just to watch it to calm herself. And also her um, client said like, yeah, it's it's just relaxing. So and this, I think during these days, everybody's just stressing and running mm -hmm. around and being hectic and to go home and just, just watch such a picture, it's just calms you down mm -hmm. somehow, yeah. Does it also calm you down while creating it? Yeah, totally. So, like uh, I always go to another dimension. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. So how how is the process? You you sit down, you start. How long does it take? Um, What happens? Yeah, I. So I always prepare. I mean, I don't know if it's coming from my old um, dancer personality that you always prepare everything mm -hmm. <laughs> and I prepare the sand the resin the 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 bottles what you you mix it up in the the sticks the colors and I already have a picture in my head what I want to do and then you um, mix the colors and you just 
drew, put it on and how you want. And then um, in the end, because you have to wait like 20 minutes, half an hour to, to put the white one that it creates the cells as the wave. And yeah, I always listen to music. <laughs> Um, what actually, kind of music? It's always de depending on my mood. I mean, sometimes I listen to Elvis, sometimes I listen to um, like soul music or like completely different or Michael Jackson, whatever. Like <laughs> <laughs> always different. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, then then I use a because you have to use a heat gun for it to mm -hmm. heat it up and to um, take the bubbles out. Then to torch it with this heat torch um then actually it's done it takes like one one and a half hour depending mm -hmm. i mean all in all with the preparation it's one and a half two hours depending on my mood like if it's really hectic then then i tell like okay calm down this will mm -hmm. not work and mm -hmm. yeah yeah almost okay. two hours nice so, and do you do it every day or once a week or how often mm, i think i mean When I'm at home, I mostly do it every day, every mm -hmm. second day, but mostly on the week weekends. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. And the materials, is it, where, where do you get them? And is I it expensive? I get them from Spain. Yeah, the mm -hmm. material is super expensive. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Especially the heat gun, probably. Mm, I mean, this you get by once and you use it. I mean, mm -hmm. it's not a, it's not a, A bad thing to to invest in it but the resin itself costs a lot mm. like ah, this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. how yeah. much if i if i ask if i can um, ask <laughs> like 50 50 something euros yeah. okay yeah but i always That's order fun. from um 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 Ampre Deco from i think they're in spain no either in spain or slovenia now i'm not sure mm -hmm. okay yeah. Cool. And with a heat gun, it sounds kind of dangerous. <laughs> dangerous so yeah. I just want to ask: <laughs> Do you have to be careful or like very yeah, careful? Yeah, I mean, I mean, once at the beginning it catched on fire because I was over um, doing it, but <laughs> very <awful>. enthusiastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's how I like safety first, and also you have to wear a mask because the toxins when you when you heat it, it comes out and it's not. It can be dangerous mm. and. Yeah, the heat can, I mean, I'm used to it. I mean, the first time <laughs> I remember that I had some plastic on the side, whatever, and I put it down and it melted. Oh, like, yeah. I was like, oh boy, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you learn. And, yeah. um, but, but beside that, it's, it's all cool. Now I know how, mm -hmm. to, how to use it and mm -hmm. what to take care of. Yeah. Do you have your own workstation? Do you do it at home? or At home, yeah. 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 No, everything I mean, prepared? Yeah, everything prepared and stored and yeah. Okay, it's your own workstation there, and yeah. now you know where to put the heat gun. Yes, so that... yes, yes. all organized. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Um, so have, has there been a very memorable moment or like a rewarding moment so far in your artistic career with this? Was there a moment where you said, with oh, this? nice, I did it? I mean, with this, I mean, when people say, yeah, it's amazing, or when the clients from my sister said, yeah, it's really calming and for, or for her. And also, I mean, when people ask me to do um, for them also a picture. Yeah. Okay. So you also yeah. do that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Nice. Is there something that you are particularly proud of? Any? That I made any... it. <laughs> yeah. That I made it alone without help. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Do you have like any favorites from your from your works, or is there, do you have some of them where like oh, I want to keep them, or others you like? And this one is also favorite one, but I mean sometimes it's hard. Like I'm like super happy and proud how it looks, and I'm like I don't want to give it away. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but of course you make it for the people, so yeah, yeah. Uh, this I will have to learn to like okay. let it go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean it's your art, so I do understand. Yeah. But then you you always gift something from your yeah home. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Um, well, is there something or someone that has a big influence on you and your work? I mean, I learn a lot from from a from a girl on Instagram, and she's always so really helpful. She's called Anna Miller. She lives in Spain, mm -hmm. and she 
she was one of them who was um, helping me if I had any question what is not so hidden, you know. And of course, every artist has her specific um, style, but they don't want to share what is respectful. But she was really there in mm -hmm. some kind of um, questions, like what I had really no clue or how can I save um, in in some kind of situation when I mess it up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where do you know her from? From through Instagram. Oh, cool! Yeah. So you just reached yeah, out I to just her. Follow, yeah, yeah, I just followed her art because she she was for me the number one. Like mm -hmm. how she she made it and and yeah, she's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> So is there something that um, keeps you motivated or, or what what drive keeps you motivated? First of all, that I love beaches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love churches and to give to people, to, mm -hmm. to, to really help them in a way to calm down and just to take a moment for themselves even, like to reconnect to themselves. Nice. Is there something that you also take from ballet dancing into your art or into the creation process My soul. of your art? <laughs> <laughs> My soul, no, I mean, I think every artist um, put their soul in it. I mean, I found artists has more soul than a, a normal person, like, like, um, I say Steuerberater. <laughs> and I think my soul is in it. Like, mm -hmm. even if it's like a darker time or super happy time, it says it, I think. Like, mm -hmm. it's in it. Nice. But from dancing, I don't think you can put anything from dancing because that's more um, or like physical. Mm hmm. Or any lessons you learn through dancing or something that you... Patient. Like habits. Patient. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> patient. Be patient with yourself, yeah. 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 Well, I think especially with ballet, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> practice, practice, practice. Yeah. <laughs> how do you see or how do you... How have you experienced the local art scene in Vienna? Um, actually, I didn't really reach mm -hmm. out to any, so... Um, I don't know. <laughs> so, but how would you how would you experience the not local art scene or like the, the raisin art scene? Maybe here, not right. not in Vienna, but also maybe on the internet, on Instagram. I mean, how I think community? people like it because it's something special, and I have the feeling if you just touch, I mean, it's real sad, and then people, mm -hmm. I think it's nice, you know, for the kids, they have this busy walls or how they say when they learn how to zip mm -hmm. up and I, I did for my sister we took I don't know if I'm allowed to say that we took sand from Corfu and I did the picture also for her and there's also stones on it and I, I told her it's like this busy wall for kids that you can just touch it and it just it's, it's just cool for for touching us yeah. I mean I'm the person who likes to touch things yeah and just to touch it or just to, if this one doesn't have shells on it but it also adds shells to mm -hmm. to my artwork and it's also something special for the people so yeah mm -hmm. okay so you'd say that your art is something that has is not only visual but also very like important for for to touching touch. yeah, yeah because i think it gives you something I, i cannot express what but it gives you something like okay very nice cool but about like the community on, on instagram like um when you said that you reached out to the girl and she was very helpful to you mm -hmm. um do you have like a kind of circle right now with people you kind of communicate with about it or hard, is it just you and her I mostly reach out only to her and to another person because mm -hmm. I have really the feeling that they don't like to share the details mm -hmm. or like, 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 I don't want to say greedy, but in a way like they don't want to give something to other person because they only have this business, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Mm -hmm. And they don't want to lose um, cl clients or like mm -hmm. people from their circle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Is there a most important lesson that you have learned while creating your art? Maybe never give up. Like even if you fail once or mm -hmm. any time or like many times, you 
should never give up. Like if something just really pulls you in this direction and you really want it, just go for it and do it. Mm -hmm. And it will, it will lead you to somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And is there any piece of advice you would want to give somebody who just starts? <laughs> Practice, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> But also like with, with raising art or where to start, how to start. Um, what, what is the first step you would want them to take? Safety first. Okay. <laughs> yeah. so you learn the safety first. Um, yeah. But otherwise, I don't know, like be patient to yourself and... Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid, even if people turn you down, don't be afraid to ask another person. Mm -hmm. Or, I mean, there are also courses, but I think these courses, I mean, I had a friend who did a resin course, but she was not satisfied at all with it. And yeah, just don't give up. I mean, mm -hmm. really, if it's really pulling you and you, you do it with your heart, soul, and then mm -hmm. nothing can go wrong. <laughs> Nice. Do you have like a um, vision of doing workshops maybe here in Vienna or do you already do it? No, no, no. <laughs> But I mean, it would be nice to give my knowledge further mm -hmm. on and that people really go away with um, with knowledge and that they are satisfied, not like mm -hmm. this, this other girl. Um, and to share, of course, mm -hmm. that I will not be um, this... Um, information greedy person not to share mm -hmm, like. Mm -hmm. like building a community yeah. on it yeah about it yeah. yeah so what are you currently working on is there mm. something specific not really <laughs> just some pieces you yeah i mean i got now um an order from two times 50 for uh per 50 i mm -hmm. mean this mm -hmm. is the largest what i yeah i i did And I'm not finished yeah. with it yet, but I hopefully next week I will manage. And yeah, I'm pretty proud of it because nice. <laughs> it's really huge. And yeah, yeah. That, that's a great moment. Yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. So, uh, what would your dream project be? Dream project? I don't know. Working. I mean, if I would be like my picture would be in many places or like I don't know like working with um how you say this um inner architect like the because they help you to go to sell your art like uh, to bigger companies let's say mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so working with with uh, people, yeah people like agents yeah yeah okay very cool um where can listeners find out more about you or your work um, so where can they reach out to you <laughs> <laughs> i have an instagram page actually yeah. but yeah let's so just will, reach out to you there yeah <laughs> i would love to have also a web website also mm -hmm. soon <laughs> <laughs> it's a project for the future yes <laughs> <laughs> to make it even more professional very cool yeah. okay so so what what does your daily routine looks like oh that's horrible but do you mostly um do your work like in the morning or no i'm an evening or? person evening yeah. person yeah okay, okay yeah so yeah at night a night all night all okay. yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay well then thank you so much for being here and sharing all of this with us is there anything we didn't get to talk about is there anything you want me to ask you mm. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't like to talk about myself, actually. Oh, yeah, true. You told me that before. Yes. Yeah, You were like, I don't like to talk about myself. And I was like, this is the perfect place to be yeah. <laughs> on a podcast talking about yourself. Yeah. <laughs> no, but thank you very much for sharing everything You're and welcome. <laughs> answering. And yeah, well, then my last question would be, is there anything like uh, any place, any restaurant, any bar in Vienna that you can recommend to the listeners? To check out anything. I mean, last week we were with a friend in this Greek um, um, Greek uh, restaurant, mm -hmm. and it's a super small, but we had a really nice Greek meal. <laughs> nice, yeah. especially um, like Greece. Yeah, with exactly. The... Nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Where is it? Um, it's close here. I, I can't remember the street now because we were just passing, and I was like, 
we're gonna eat here <laughs> okay okay like first district around yeah okay yeah. okay yeah. so to the listeners there's a <laughs> greek restaurant around in the first <laughs> where they have very good food <laughs> nice well then thank you very much for listening and tuning in and well you will have all the information about suzy down below and if you liked it please subscribe to the podcast if you don't like it please still subscribe and support your friendly neighborhood artist thank you